10 tips for Logic Pro for iPad in 60 seconds. One, to close all projects and go back to your main view, double tap a blank space at the bottom of the screen. Two, to view your global tracks, tap on the drop down button, then tap and hold and select which ones you would like to see. Three, to save your own custom presets or channel strips, tap on the very left of your track in the main view and hit save patch. Four, to show the master track in your main view, tap on the three dots and hit show output track. Five, to quickly change the input for an audio track, tap on the fader button and then tap on the settings at the top and then choose your input. Six, to view the guitar tuner and other options in your control bar. Tap in the top right, hit customize control bar, go to modes and tap on tuner. Seven, if you're zoomed in and doing some fine tuning and want to turn snap to grid off, simply tap on the snap button here and tap snap to grid. Eight, to set a longer count in at the start of your track, tap and hold on the count in button and set it to a larger number of bars. Nine, to import your own audio files, go to the files app, tap the three dots at the top and select slide over. Go back to Logic Pro and now you can drag your audio files directly into your project. To export your project, tap in the top left on the name of the project and hit export.